After a tough loss last week, the Bobcats needed to bounce back, so they came up to Ypsilanti, Michigan, and they did indeed bounce back with the win, 56-28 over the Eastern Michigan Eagles. Hi, everybody. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Rob Cornelius is alongside. Record number of points in the season and high in total yards for the Cats. They had 547 of them. Tyler Tettleton had a great individual day as well, record-setting day for him. Four touchdowns and 375 yards, both career highs. A lot of good things from this win. Yeah, a lot of good things. Eight scores for Ohio passing game goes for 399 as J.D. Sprague got a few cheapies at the end of this one. But all in all, a game where Ohio took an early punch, a game where Ohio led Eastern back into it, but then from the 21-21 mark, early second half, Ohio runs away 35-7, to closes very strongly. Yeah, this ball game was tied at 21. Ohio did have a 21-14 lead at halftime, and there was a chance for the Bobcats to capitalize on some other offensive drives. They eventually did capitalize on a lot of those drives, and that run that you talked about, that one put the game out of the reach. Yeah, powered by a couple turnovers, a couple Eastern picks turned into Ohio scores, and Ohio just manhandled them. You get the pick, you get the big turnover, then you go over the top to Chase Cochran, one for a long score, another for a long pickup of more than 40 yards. Tyler Tettleton and his receivers really had it going on today. And that was a fun thing to see because Ohio used the turnover today and used it the right way. They didn't just get the turnover and just sit and then give the ball back to Eastern. There were a couple of Eastern drives that were cut short because of Bobcat interceptions. One by Devin Bass in the back of the end zone after a promising drive for the Eagles. And then the other was a Xavier Hughes pick. And Ohio did go deep on that immediate next play, which is something that you see from a lot of teams. It was really fun to see Ohio's big playability there. Yeah, you, you sucked in the Eastern defense play folks both times on handoffs, just go deep over the top. And, you know, even the, even after they did it a couple times, Eastern had it figured out, triple coverage, last big throw to Chase, he still makes the catch. Look, this offense seems like the third quarter is magic for Tyler in this passing offense. It was last week in the loss. It was this week in the win. Five wins overall in the season now, two in Mid-American Conference play and three tries. The Cats doubled up the Eagles 56-28. to Here's how it looked and sounded at Ryanerson Stadium. Ball at the EMU 14. Tettleton back to pass. Looks left the whole time. Now dances over to the right side. Will run over to the far, far side. Throws to the end zone. Wide open caught. Touchdown Cats. Mario DeVell caught the ball. And Ohio is down 1-7-6. Patterson into the pattern left. On third down and goal from the five. Pitch and catch over the middle of the field. It's caught. It is a touchdown for the Bobcats. From the right side, a flick into the end zone, a to touchdown for the Cats, and Ohio is on top 13-7. Eh? Oh, Travis Carey is back deep to return at his own 14. Good rush, line drive kick. Carey will take it at the 14. Turns and runs to the right side with room and speed. 25, far sideline through a hole. Eludes the tackler, 40. On the run, 45, midfield stripe. On the run to the far sideline, 35-30. He can take this to the house. 15-10, pull down inside the 10. Down at the eight yard line. Travis Carey nearly took it into the house for six. What a great return. First and goal for Ohio at the Eastern eight. 439 to go, quarter one, Ohio 14, Eastern seven. Tettleton with Blankenship behind him. And it is a handoff to Bo through a big hole. Six for the Cats. Bo Blankenship in, and Ohio's on top 20 to seven. As Hill will dot it. Eagles trying to take the lead. Rolling to the right is Benz. Throws back of the end zone to the ball is intercepted. Ohio picked it off, back of the R of Eastern, picked away, and the Bobcats turn Eastern Michigan away. Devin Bass on the interception for the Cats. First and 10 of the Bobcat 20, and it's a play fake. Tettleton has all kinds of time. Throws a deep ball, middle of the field. Cochran got a step, and he got the ball. 30, stiff arm, he's going to score. Six for the Cats. On a play after a pick, they go deep, and the Cats get into the house. Ohio takes the lead back. 27 to 21, 4.58 to go, quarter three. Play fake, Tettleton rolls left, throws left, caught by Foster, turns into the south end zone, six for the Cats. Ohio 34, Eastern Michigan 21, 2.02 to go for the ball game's third quarter, and that is the fourth touchdown pass on the day for Tyler Tettleton. Second down and 11, ball at the 37. Ball thrown over the middle of the field. It's picked off by Ohio. Back inside, 
Ohio Territory, Xavier Hughes got it at the 36 yard line. Ball on the right hash of the 22, pitch to the left, Blankenship with blockers in front, squirts through a hole, 15, 10, 5, 6 for the Cats. A trip to the house, turnover turns into six again. 41-21 Ohio. Foster's wide to the left. Out of the pistol set. It's a handoff to Boykin right up the middle. He got to the two to the one, and he's close. He is down. No, in. Touchdown, Cats. Six for the Cats. Ohio's on top by three scores. Ohio up by 21, looking to go up by 27. And it's a play fake. Sprague rolls right and into the house for six. Six for the Cats. Ohio 55. Eastern Michigan 28, 154 to go for the ball game. J.D. Sprague into the end zone. So now it's back home to take on Miami. It's a ghost out, a white out at Peden Stadium. You've got Miami coming in after the big loss to them last year where they sucked a lot of life out of the season that the Bobcats had rolling. No excuse not to have a big crowd. No excuse not to seek some revenge against the Red Hawks. Uh, no, and you know, under Frank Solich, Ohio had had Miami's number over and over and over until last season. Ohio lost the game that frankly fans and players don't think they should have. They will not overlook Miami at all whatsoever on Halloween. We'd be remiss as well if we didn't pass along our condolences the entire Eastern Michigan University family for the untimely passing of Demarius Reed, a 20-year-old wide receiver from Chicago, Illinois. Bottom line for the Bobcats, it was a great win. And they do it with a lot of great offensive numbers. It's back to Peden Stadium coming up on Saturday. Thanks, Rob. Yeah, final Saturday game of the season. Get out there. There and for everybody with the Bobcat TV crew, for uh, everybody involved, and for you fans as well, we thank you for watching. It's a wrap on our coverage from Ypsilanti, and I'm stumbling to the finish here. But Ohio wins at 56-28. Time to get out of Dodge. This is Bobcat TV.